How's it going, everybody? My name's Benjamin Anderson, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the expression assistant. Now, if you're wondering how we got to this point, I recommend you go back and watch the first video in our expression series that shows, uh, talks generally about what expressions are and where to find them. But in this video, we're going to be assuming that you already know how to do that. Now, one thing you might notice is that my expression assistant looks a little bit different than yours does. And that's because I'm using the Crew Tools Chrome extension, which I highly recommend. Um, this will change a few things, and I'll go over them briefly in this video. But if you want a more extensive understanding of what our Chrome extension can do, we're going to be releasing a video about that soon. Now, really quickly about the differences. Um, the Crew Tools extension helps us know what the names of our functions are, as well as helps us match parameters. So it color codes different things in our um, actual expression builder here. The other thing it does is it makes these links to documentation. Um, and so those are the two main differences you should see in our um, assistance. But again, we'll go over that more thoroughly in another video. Now, the first thing we need to understand about the assistant is the builder itself. That's this section here. This section is where we're going to be putting in our expressions and um, different things to help us get the excuse me get the dynamic data we need. So it's relatively straightforward. The next part is this here. This is AppSheet helping us decipher in a more readable way what our expression is doing. So if you've never used these expressions before, it might not make sense what's going on. But you can look down here and read, oh, I'm getting the text length of the text value of column video. Um, that can be very helpful if you're not sure what the expression does, especially <laughs> if someone else wrote the expression. Next, here we see this little green check mark. That means our expression is uh, could run. Now that doesn't mean it's going to return exactly what we want it to return, but um, it is very helpful in knowing that you're not missing any parentheses, um, that your column type is the correct column type for the expression, things like that. Now, if your expression can't run, for instance, if I remove this parentheses, we see we get this red X um, along with an error statement. Now this error statement is telling us that uh, the statement couldn't be parsed because we're missing a parentheses. So we'll go ahead and add that in. There's lots of different expressions and we won't go into all of them in this, excuse me, there's lots of different errors, but we won't be going into all of them in this video. Next, we've got uh, test and save, which help pretty straightforwardly test or save the expression we've just written. If you don't want to save the expression you've just written, you can come up here and press cancel. This final section is very handy. It breaks down different common expressions in uh, the type of thing they return, as well as just a section for other random useful ones. Um, now, one thing that may seem a little out of place is columns. Now, these are technically expressions, but they're formatted in a very different way than um, our other normal expressions. Um, but this section helps us insert things without having to type them all out. It's very handy um, when you either can't remember the exact name of a function, can't remember the exact name of a column, or just don't feel like typing like I don't usually. Um, and so that's what this section does. You can just hit insert. It also breaks down a few things. First, on the left, we see the pattern. We see the name of the function and the um, types of the parameters that need to be passed in. If you're not sure what some of those things are, I recommend watching our vi video that breaks down uh, what exactly makes up an expression. Next, we see the result or the return type. Um, this is going to be important, especially when you're um, needing to return a specific type for a column in your data table. Uh, the result needs to match the data type of the specified column. Finally, we've got an example. Example is, I find, either very helpful 
or not very helpful. And there doesn't seem to be much of an in-between, but it can help um, visualize what the function needs to look like a little bit better. Then finally, the one that is most frequently useful for me, the insert um, ability. You just press it and it immediately inserts the expression where you had left your cursor last. Uh, so this can be very handy if you wanted to put something inside of another expression. Say I want the length of the left whatever. This isn't a very practical example, but it is an example. We can hit um, that and it inserts it into our expression. Now we can see um, this has updated to show us that we're now getting the text length of uh, the left value of column topic, the first value, or excuse me, the first um, character. Now this is obviously just going to return one, but um, it shows you the functionality of the insert. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comics, comments, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.